It's time for the guys to choose their tools. The guy who gets here late, he gets that. Since the RV-12 IS is primarily assembled with pop rivets, it makes sense to use the tools that make the job easier and more productive. In this video, we're going to go over the rivet pulling tools we've decided to use in the construction of our RV-12 IS. We'll start off with the least expensive tool we could find, the Pneumatic Riveter by Central Pneumatic, which is available at Harbor Freight Tools. This riveter handles rivet sizes 3 32nd, 1 8th, 5 32nd, and 3 16th. It has a maximum air pressure capability of 90 psi and requires regular use of hydraulic oil. You can get it at Harbor Freight for around $40. On the opposite spectrum, there is the M12 Rivet Toolkit made by Milwaukee Tools. This rivet tool is cordless and can pull up to 250 3 16 stainless steel rivets or 450 1 8 steel rivets on one charge of its batteries. With 2,000 pounds of pulling force, it's a great replacement to pneumatic products. It can handle a range of rivet sizes, 3 32nd, 1 8 5 32nd, 3 16 and works with aluminum, steel, and stainless steel. This rivet tool is available on Amazon for around $300. Now we're going to do a little compare between the pneumatic riveter and the wireless riveter from Milwaukee. We're going to try the pneumatic riveter first and make sure that we're using the right uh, head here, which works with the LP4-3. Then we're going to connect the hose that's set at 90 PSI. Put in a rivet and give it a try. It doesn't look too bad. And now we'll give the M12 a try. Put our battery in. Put in the rivet. just as well. They look about the same. One thing that I've noticed is the uh, mandrel tends to stay inside the barrel. The mandrel should go back here, but not always. The M12 actually ejects the, uh, the mandrel into the container in the back. As far as the weight, they're pretty much the same. Can't really tell that much difference. You just have to deal with the hose, which is kind of a pain. But this portable unit is very nice. 